Hi, Alan. We're on Kuf, Kuf Yud. Freight the Gemara, the Hapligi Chada Zimna. Robin Shmuel has already argued. Didmar Kitsha Altnai. Husband gave his wife Kiddushin with conditions. Ukonsostam. When he married her, he didn't go over and renew and review whether he was whether he, he fulfilled the conditions or not. And in fact, the conditions were not filled. Rav says, you, you still need a get. It's still considered a good Kiddushin. Because we assume the Bia was still a shame Kiddushin. And since he married her, he must have been moichel al the tenoim. Let's say that there was a tenai that she didn't have nedorim or any mumim, that he would marry her only on that tenai. So if he went ahead and married her, it must be he absolved her of that. Shmuel amayin atzrichay menu get. Doesn't require get because kol aboyal adas kiddush nari shoyim uboyal, and the kiddush nari shoyim at a tenai. So why are you repeating the machlokes? Tzricha. Iyad merayi vayikom a rav. Maybe here rav says that we we go after the initial kiddush mishum dikit tnoi, the kiven de bolach le tnoi, and since now there was a second act of nesuin, it wipes away the tnoi. Aval baha in the first in the other case by kiddush ektana. That she just gets older, right? He was Makadish at nine years old. And then she became 12 years old. And our debate was is the Kiddushin fulfilled even though he didn't do Be'ila or not? So maybe only in the case of Kiddushin Alt 9, the Rav is moited to Shmuel. But in the case of Kitana, he'll be moyed he'll be moyed that there is no kiddushin without the bi'ila. Maybe if we only had the machloikas in the case of of the Kitana Ba'achkom or Shmuel. Excuse me. In the case of the the kiddushin with Tanai, Avo Ba'ach Rav that they are married even though there was no bi'ila. So tzricha. So Freik the Gemara Umi Yomar Rav Kibo Alini Lo Ba Lo Did Rav really say that it's totally in the Beila that if there was no Beila when she turned twelve years old, it's not full marriage. The Hahi Uv the David Ben Neresh. There was a, a case in the town of Neresh. The Igdisha Kishik Tana. She received Kiddusha when she was nine years old. The Gadla. Then she became an adult. The Usvi Abi Kursaya. And her husband had even put her in a, like a chariot, which is like a chuppah, but had no beer yet. Another man came and grabbed her and tried to marry her. And they already treated that the that this girl was already fully married. Therefore, whatever the second guy does is not halakhically substantial, doesn't require get. And it's in this case, there was no be'ila yet. So does Rav really require be'ila? It seems that these were Talmidim of Rav and they said that she was fully married even without be'ila. On Rav Papa Benaresh, means of Nasibi, Vahadar Moisve Abe Kursayo. Neresh was a special town that you didn't put her in a chariot unless you had Bia with her. So in a Hanami, he, he had Bia with her. So there's no riot from here. 
Ravashi Yomar, who has such a like again? The guy who tried to grab her acted inappropriately. The ficha chasu bosho like again. So they they were mavatal. It, it, it that they were mavatal the kiddushin for a special reason because he acted inappropriately. And really, the kiddushin otherwise would have been a good kiddushin because there was no bi'ila. And Rob requires bi'ila for the first kiddushin to be chal. So I had, what could they do? Afkinu rabon la kiddushin mine. They annulled the kiddushin that the second guy tried to do. Armalei Ravina Ravashi Tinnit Likadish Pekaspa. Fine. That's if he gave her kes of kiddushin. So Bezdin, Hefker, Bezdin, Hefker, Chachonim um, have the right to, to make any money worthless. Kaddish be a mai. What if he did the bia? What if he did the kiddushim through bia? Shavir Rabban will be also bilaznos. They can make the bia of a person as a bilaznos, which doesn't doesn't make a kesher, a nisuin kesher between the parties. That we teach the Ketana to do Miyun. The Kedushan for the, it was the Ketana who was the Yasoma. So evidently her mother married her, her brother, not his father. So was it, it's a Kedushan yeah. Rabbana, was it a Kedushan Rabbana, no, right? Then she became 12, then she's an adult. And then no, but, she, which, but when she was nine, the Kedushan was uh, a, a correct. Rabbana. Correct. So therefore, there was, that's why they had the question of the, the second no, guy. Then she was. Then she became an adult. She became twelve years old. And, and then, then he grabbed. And there's then he grabbed her. There's a machlokas, Rav and Shmuel, whether she automatically becomes married to him yeah. just because she now becomes an adult, yeah. or does she need to have <clears throat> the ilah? Because because the first. The first kedushin was the rabbon, and this now this becomes once she becomes twelve, it's a derisive. Correct. Kedushin, right? Correct. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Mishnah. Mishaya nasso ilishtei yisama is ketanas. He had two wives, both were ketanim. They were not related to each other, and then he died, and those two women fall to one of his brothers. The, 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 it's both Kiddush and Rabbanon, but they're equal. So there is still Yibum. And since they're equal, the Yibum of one or the Chlitz of, of one will part to the Yitzhara. Two deaf mutes that were married to the same man. So also, it's not full kiddushin because they don't have das, but they're the, but they're equal. So therefore, the bia or chlitz of one of them will potter the other. Now it gets a little bit more interesting. Ketana v'chreshes. Both are also only midrabona, but they're different. So then, ain bias achas man poter sarosa. You'd have to do be at one and chli to the other, because it's not they're not the same. Even though both nesuim are midibet rabbanon, the type of nesuim are different. You can't prove that one has a stronger than the other to push away the other. Now it gets even more complicated. Pikhish v'chreshes. He's married to two women. One is a adult, intelligent woman. The other is a deaf mute. But Lahura, not a ktana, also adult. Now, bias apichas poteras achreshas. If he does, if after the guy died, if one of the brothers does bia with the adult, intelligent one, so that's full midorai, so that certainly would part to the chreshas. However, in bias achreshes poteras is apichas, right? The bia of the chreshes will not potter the pichas because, again, they're not equal. Because it's not in a Torah. Similarly, 
if a man is married to Gedoyla Uktana, right, to the Gedoyla, it's, it's marriage Midaraisa, to the Ktana, it's only Midarabanan. Then again, if he dies and falls to the brother, Bia Sakdoyla Poitera Saktana, the B of the adult is a full Yibum and will potter the Tsara, but the Ain Bia Saktana Poitera Sakdoyla, you'd have to do another act to the Gedoyla, either Bia or Chlitza. You'd have to do Chlitza. So the Mishnah started off by saying, How can you give pizza to Chreshes? They're not bardas. That part, the chen shtei chresh is only going on the bia of a chresh, not the chalitza. Rav amar filu tema chalitza. Because here, when do we say it's only bia, not chalitza, the chresh is meikara. When they, she was always a chresh. So when he married her, she was a chresh. When he died, she was a chresh. But in the case where our Mishnah says bia or chalitza, that's a case of When he married her, she was normal. So therefore the, 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 the Kiddushan was made the So then she got sick. So me The way she came in was the way she went out. That means just the opposite. When the mission of the apostles, the chlitza is when she was a pichis and then became nisharsha. If she was a chreshes right away, that's our mission, where chlitza would be good, because she's on the same level when she was when she was married. She went out the same level. It didn't weaken, and even a chlitza grua would work. But if she started off intelligent, then became she deaf mute, and she can't read the parsha because she's deaf mute. You can't do chlitza because she can't read it. But if she started off as a chreshes, she's also not bas chlitza, but none. I'll prove to you from the following case. Shnei two brothers. Echad pikeach echad cheresh. One brother was normal, the other brother was a deaf mute. And they were nisu and lishtei nachrios. Each brother were married to two women that were not related. They were also achas pikeach v'achas cheresh. We assume that the pikeach married a pikeach and the cheresh married a cheresh. Meis cheresh bal cheresh. The brother who was a cheresh, who was married to the cheresh's died, and the cheresh's falls to the pikeach. Ma pikeach ba pikeches. What should the pikeach do? Koines. He lives with her if he wants. And there's no opportunity for chlitza. So if he doesn't want her, he has to marry her and get rid of her with a get. yotzi. But he can't do chlitzah. So you see, if this is talking about a meikara, it doesn't work. Now, meis pikech ba pikhis. If the brother who was a pikech died and the pikhis falls to the cheresh, mayas a cheresh ba cheresh. He also can be koines because his bia will work. You don't have to read anything. So a cheresh isn't disqualified from bia. His bia is a bia. And in a motzi lolo. You can't give him a get either because a cheresh, has, does, a cheresh doesn't have a das to write a get. Rashi says, Ein gito kidushi 
and my love bechreshes me kara. It seems like these cases are talking about these these women were chreshes from the beginning. Uketani, koinus in choilitz lo. So it seems from the Mishnah that a chreshes me kara cannot do chlitza. So the Gemara says you can't. You don't have to learn that way. Lo, but pikres for acherkach nischarsha. The case there also was she was a pikeach and then she became nischarsha. So you have no right. One second, please. I just want to get some some fluid to keep me hydrated when we do the second block. Okay. How was your golfing, Walter? Good. Just I uh, walked and it was so hot this morning. It was really, really? Hot. yeah. Really. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm very tired. Yeah, this weight, the heat will do it for you. Yeah, no, and also I walked. You know, when you walk, it's a hilly and it was hot. I didn't realize how hot it was. And then, you know, it just knocks you out. Knocks you out. And this Gamora knocks me out too. It's difficult. Yeah, I can't you, yeah really. <laughs> Wait, to get some good stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for that guy to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two regular brothers. They're married to two wives. They're not related, the wives. However, the wives, one's a normal woman, the other is a deaf mute. The brother who was married to the Chreshes and who was a Pikeach died. The Chreshes falls to the other Pikeach. Mayasa Pikeach Balpich is koines. So again, the, the Gemara says there's no option of chlitza, obviously because he's, she's a Chreshes. So all he can do is yibu. And then if he doesn't like her, imrotsilotsi yotsi. But there's no option of chlitza. Like normally, if you don't want to live with, you don't want to marry her, give her chlitza. But you can't do chlitza here. So this is the Gemara's proof that a chreshes me kara, the Gemara is going to try to say again that this is a chreshes me kara, which doesn't allow chlitza. What about meis pikech bal pikes? Right, the regular pikech brother dies and the pikes falls to the other pikech brother. Mayasa pikech bal chreshes. So then ochol, it's a miyabin. Well, that's a regular woman. It doesn't make a difference that, her, that his other wife is a chreshes. That doesn't affect that this is a regular brother married to a regular woman. So he can do either chlitz or yibo. And the Gemara is going to say, my love, mi dehu pikech mi kara. If he started off as a pikech, he nami chreshes mi kara. This woman who was a chreshes where we said chlitz is not allowed, must have also been born a chreshes. Uketani koinus in chaylet's lo. So again, the Gemara thinks it has a proof that you don't do chlitza to chreshes. Who says me to hear you? Just because he's a pichas from birth doesn't mean she's a chreshes from birth. Hakadis of hakadis, each case is its own case. Esme. Shnei achin echad pikech vechad cheresh. Two brothers. One is normal, one is deaf. Nesu and shtei achayos. These brothers are married to sisters. Achas pichis v'achas chreshes. One sister is normal, the other sister is a chreshes. And we assume that each is married to their mean. The pikech is married to the pichis and the cherish is married to the chreshes. But remember, they're sisters. But remember, by the chresh, by cherish, the kiddush is not me it's only me So it's weaker. Mes cherish bal chreshes. And the cherish now falls to the brother who's married to the sister. Mayasa pikech bal pichis. Teitse mishumachos isha. It's an erva. So she goes out without anything. Uh. 
But how come she goes out? I mean, she's anonymous. No, no. Reuven and Shimon married to Rachel and Leah. I, I understand. Reuven, but, but, di Reuven dies. No, I, I understand. The, 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 the deaf woman, the, the deaf woman fell, falls to the brother, right? But he's married to a normal woman, correct? No, but they're sisters. I understand that they're, they're sisters. So, but why, in other words, why does the sister who's normal get kicked out? She's my, she's my not, we're, not talking about, we're not talking about the sister. The sister continues being married to her. But now the brother has to do something with this woman falling to him. Right. In his Tate say Not not his original wife. Oh, the second one. The second one. The one who falls. Oh, okay. I understand. There's no Yibum or Chalitza. I understand. But why would he give the Chalitza? No, there's no Chalitza even when there's an erva. You know Besides, because she can't, she can't accept, she can't accept Chalisa. She because she can't okay, say I, anything. I, I, yeah, I got it. She I can't say it. Well, okay. I mean, you can't live with two sisters. So they, because there's an erva, there's no zika. So you don't need chalitza. So she can hold on a second. Let's 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 remind ourselves. Reuven and Shimon are married to Rachel and Leah. Reuven dies. Rachel falls to Shimon. Shimon's married to Leah. There's no Yibam or Chlitza. There's no Zika established because, no, no. because there's an Erva. She, she's Tetze without any money. Tetze any means, yeah, Tetze. You don't, Tetze means you, just, you don't need to do Yibam. You don't need to do Chlitza. And there's no, and there's no, there's no, no money to her, nothing. No, that's, what do you mean money? She gets to well, go there. She gets to get married to anybody else she wants. Without, I understand, but, uh, but there was, there's nothing to her, basically. If the, if the husband who died didn't have anything, and she now... Gets ksuba, she gets a ksuba. She gets her oh. ksuba from, from her first husband. From the first husband. Yeah. Why, if if a her, why why if a cherish marries Hareshes, if he marries her with Rubia, why is that derisa? Why do we say it's through right. a... Well, it's not... The, the, there's, it's weaker. But it's still, it's, it could be derisa. It should be derisa. Only maybe through... through it's Kessler not derisa. Star. It's the same like a ketana. Because there's no das by a yeah, You but need das could, to, have, but, to be makadish a woman. You got to do it midaita. So the chachamim gave koyach that it's a kiddushin midrabba. So it's not like a regular kiddushin. Uh, it's like a ketana. We saw that in the mission uh, we just learned. Okay, yeah. Anna and the Khreshes are on the same level. That's okay, why we learned this. Right, okay. This, this is giving, this, this is all new for us. This, this is new material. Not, not the, not the Aces, not the Achosisha that, that, that we haven't just had in a while. Okay. Now, Mez Pikech Bal Pikes, that was a normal wedding, but the, the Pikes falls to the Kheresh. See now, the, the, the connection is full zikam in a Torah because the brother was an adult, intelligent, married to an adulterant woman. So that's now a stronger relationship than the relationship he has with his Chresh's wife, which is only Drabonon. Everybody get that? So Motsias Ishto beget. This is Walter's not going to like it, but that's the halacha. The Chereshes, the Cheresh divorces his Cheresh wife. And he still can't marry the wife because he was married to the sister. The Cheresh loy motzi cholatz. A Cheresh himself can't do chlitza. Umichnas nami lo motzi kar. He can't live with her. The achas grushasu he. Because it's the sister of the woman he gave a, a divorce to. Let's explain that. Look at the previous Rashi. Motzi Ishto beget. Davka achoyso pichis osarta. The normal woman who's now falling makes it usher for him to live with his wife. Because shenisu ehagmurin. Her and the suin were full with her husband. Zu sofek. The Cheresh married to a Cheresh is only Suffolk Kiddushin. The Ein Koch be Kiddushin liftors Achosim Yishum Achosisha. You can't potter the Achosim because we don't even know if they're really married. So you can't say, oh, it's Achosisha. Because maybe 
the Cheresh wasn't really married to her. So, and now, this is an Eishet Sochiv, which remains also forever. The Cheresh lo matzi cholitz, he cannot do chlitz. Umichnas nami lo matzi cholitz, 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 it's only a minor kinyan. Hikach loy efshar, shari achos grushosu hi. Umehach mas gisin lo musuf le le rova. Dach medin lo cholitz hai cheresh le pichesh. Shari eishas pikei chaisa vizikosu gmura. The lekele memor keheche de alach inav. You can't use the same sphor you used on the previous blood. Oh, the way they came in is the way they came out. Because here it's like cross pollination. One marriage is strong, the other marriage is weak. Back to the gemara. Meis pikeach ba peches, mayas a cheresh ba peches, moitz is ish to beget peches ochi vasir loyal. Chite mochanami. So again, it seems like a cheresh me ikara cannot get chlitza. So maybe you'll tell me there's no rai here as well. Ochanami. Vipikeach ba chach mis choresh. Maybe it's not a case of cheresh me ikara. It's a case where she was born normal, then she got sick. But then Mimotzi Muffet, you wouldn't be able to divorce her. But non. Nisharsha Yotzi. A Chreshes you can get rid of. Nishtat taste if she became a Meshigan and Lo Yotzi. Nisharish Hu or Nishtat Ta, if he became a Chresh or became a Shigan and Lo Yotzi, Olamis. Again, you, he cannot. A intelligent woman that became a sugar cannot get divorced. Even though a woman gets divorced even against her will, there's a Xera, you can't get rid of a woman, it's Michigan. But by, by the way, that was the same, that was the Shia that Tzvika, you know, the rabbi gave. The rabbi gave a Shia about with with a you with a um, a guy who's Mishuka and then he get, makes it, and he becomes lucid again and not Mishuka. Maybe he can find a way that she was lucid sometime, then uh, then it would be okay to give a get to her Right. Right. The Fishena Yodas Lishmuratsma. Aval nisharsha be becoming deaf mute yotzeis the loba inan das eishes beget. You don't require complete das. Sharafilu pichas ba korchamotzi. Even a regular intelligent woman could be divorced against her will. Now, this all changed by Rabbeinu Gershom. Rashi was before that. You after one of the takanot Rabbeinu Gershom motzi a wife against her will at all. So this is before Rabbeinu Gershom. This is. The Chazal made these takanas. Hold on a second. When the Rashi was in the year 1100. A thousand. A thousand. But Rabbi Gershon was also a thousand. No, a little later. Sure? Yeah. Rashi. Rashi he preempts Rabbi Gershon? Not preempts. It's before, before Rabbi Gershon. Not much time, though. Can't be no, this. not much time. Not much time. It's about the same time. But you notice he doesn't say uh, Rashi here doesn't say and and by us after Rabbi Gershom we can't we can't do it all. He's talking just about Chazal in the Gemara, who made certain takonas regarding if she became a Meshigana versus Chreshes. Back to the Gemara. El Olav bechersh mi Kora. We're talking about Cheresh who started off. Umidi umidi who chersh mi Kora? He nami chreshes mi Kora. If the sisters are chershas, no chershas nami chershas mikora, and utna nami gabi no chershas koines in cholitz lo. So it looks like the Gemara has a proof that there is a difference between if she was pikeach and then became a chershas versus chershas mikora. Ishti, he was quiet. He didn't have an answer. He also came to Rabbi Yosef from Malay. My time at Tusvei Meha, there was no kasha from there because you could have answered. You had no raya that in one case, that they're, they're both cases talking about Cherchus Mikor. Not necessarily. Ella says, Rav Yosef, if you want to knock Rava out of the box, 
I'll give you another way to not rub out of the box. Luz Vemehov. Shnei Achin Chershin. Two brothers who are deaf. Nesu and Shnei Achayos Pichas. Who are married to two sisters who are normal. Or vice versa. Shnei Achayos Chershos. Or they could be, these two brothers could be married either to normal women or to two deaf mutes, or, but sisters, or sisters, achas pikas, achas chreshes. V'chein shte achayos chershos l'snesul shleachin pitka. Or it could be two sisters, deaf mute, married to two normal brothers. Ol shte achin chershin, to two deaf mutes. Ol shte achin echad pika echad chersh. In all these cases, this is all achos uh, isha. Each guy is married to a sister. They're ervis when they fall. There's no yibum. There's no chlitza. There's no zika. If the wives were not related, yichnosu. You can do yibum. You notice it doesn't say you could do chlitza. It says, though, if you don't want to stay married to them, you can divorce. Now, hey, dummy, what's the case? Are, are you going to tell me that again here to get out of your trouble, Rava, that they, these were picking, they were normal, and then became sick? You wouldn't be able to get rid of them. must be a they were all Christian from the beginning. And the Brisa clearly says, Rav has no way out. Then the Mishnah says, that were married to one guy. So there, even though both are Midrabonon, but they're not the same. So we said, "Ain bia ochlitz us or shalachos man poiteres sarasa." On Rav Nachman Ashkach Ashkach Tel Ravada Barav Rav Chana Chasnei. The Yasef Kamavei Achlitz Veshukat to Pumbedis. They were sitting and learning in the markets of Pumbedis. Vamri Hadis Nan Ketan of Chreshes Ain bia Sachos Man Poiteres Sarasa. Hani Mili Dinafu Lame Achiv Pikeach. This is talking about when they were married to a to an to an, a normal brother, and then they fell. Then you say, yeah, to one won't work. The lawyer, who did the husband really want as a wife? The ktana or the chreshes? Because a ktana, at least when she grows up, is going to be a full intelligent woman. Or the chreshes is not intelligent, but she's 18 years old and 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 more sexually attractive because she's a basbia. And therefore, since the whole kiddushin of chreshes and ektana, we don't know it's a suffix whether they're really married. So we understand in those cases, if he was married to a pikeach, we're in doubt. So it's not borer to us who he wanted a Kenyan Shalem. So that's why the Yibum of one won't potter the other. You'd have to do an act to both of them. But let's say these women, the Chereshes and the Kitana, were married to a Cheresh. So there there would be no Shaila because the deaf mute would rather live with another deaf mute, number one, and she's a basbia. The Amina Luhuano, and in our discussions in Pupadisa, they said, We could still be in doubt who the Kenyan Gomer was with. So, Ketsa Takanosa, what was the Takan? Amra Chizdamarab, Koine Sachreshes, again, no Chlitsa. 
he can live with her biyibum, and then if he doesn't want to stay with her motzia biket, and then the katana we wait tanti matcha tanti, and then v'tach lots, and then you can do chlitza to her. You can't do chlitza to a katana, but you could do it when she's older. On Rav Chizkiyahu Shlomin Aksov Rav, chreshes knuya u'meshuyeres. It's not a full Kenyan, which is different than Ktana Knuya Vena Knuya. It's a suffix, whether it's a Kenyan Gomer or no Kenyan at all. You hear the difference? Chreshes, there's a Kenyan, but it's a minor Kenyan. It's not a Kenyan Gomer. Ktana, it's either or, it's 100% or 0%. Why do we say that? The isagadaiti chreshes knuya vena knuya. If a chreshes is a, is the same as a suffix, hundred or zero, and ketana knuya mushieres, and ketana is just a weakened kiddushin, so chreshes am I going to to be a get? Why should you be allowed to marry the chreshes and take her out with a get? Face of gadolmi manavshach, he should stay married to her because of the following manavshach. Which we'll learn tomorrow. You saying if you tell Remember, I told everyone that it's going to get harder. The, the, the last 10 blot of Yavamas are harder than any blot we have in the whole Masechta. It gets more and more complicated. You say, are you saying that the Katana? Yeah, it's harder than that. A, a man married a Katana, it's not a, it's not 100%. The, no, the, we're the talking Kedushin. about when it's married by the mother and the brother. Yeah, oh, well, brother, right, because the father is 100%. When the father right. accepts Kazakh Yudushin, yeah, okay. okay. But, but it can, can Be Bezin, let's say she has no parents at all, and can they, can Bezin marry her? Same thing. Same thing. It's the, again, it's Kiddush and Drabba. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Very good. Terrific. Yeah. Okay. See everybody tomorrow at eight o'clock. Walter. Ah, uh, I'm It was exhausted. very enjoyable today. Very hot. Yeah. I'm but, but but Marty was on fire. But yeah, Marty was on fire. Just I played. I liked. I played okay. I was hitting my irons. I I, I didn't yeah, you played my good. iron shots. You played. I good. missed. No, I missed the cut. Those two putts. We would have tied them, and then of course Volk would have had that that par on seventeen. But we would could have cut, tied them on eighteen if I would have made those two putts on sixteen yeah. and fifteen. Okay, which were okay. makeable. So it was a good game. I mean, I thought it was a good game. Yep. Then I had to make rounds for a couple hours. I had patients in the hospital, but nothing major. Yep. So okay. we, our kids, you were talking about going out. What we do, well, we've gone to Shanghai the last two, but what we did is we order in from Jeff's and then we all ate here. The kids went swimming. <laughs> we ate, huh. did you go out? Yeah, we went to Milky Way, we took the kids. To Milky Way, what'd you get there? Yeah, what, what did we get? The, the uh, traps. You had fish? Yeah. Okay. All right. Talk to you. Okay. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Come to Minion. Try and come to Minion. Bye. Okay, bye.